Uh, here I am at the front of house. I've no idea where the stage door is, if only someone had told me. From facing MPs over the Partygate scandal to slipping past theatre-goers at the stage door. I, I don't mean to come across at all as misleading, but Tom Cruise has said that I can have dressing room one from now on, so I'd like my usual rider, please, of uh, champagne and uh, girls. Boris Johnson's rubber doppelganger set to feature alongside some rather familiar faces as the satirical puppet show Spitting Image comes to London's West End. It's this thing of seeing these famous people in, in, in grotesque, so this sort of amp an amplified version of them, kind of saying the things you really want them want to hear them saying. The opposite of unanimous is fired! In its prime back in the 80s, 15 million viewers used to tune in to watch Spitting Image. This is a French one. The former Prime Minister might just have had a lucky escape not featuring in the show back then, as during its 18 seasons, it was brutal in some of its takedowns. Of course, society has changed a lot since then. Oh, has it? Well, there's no such thing as society, but there is such a thing as a party, my dear. So in the age of online outrage, where we are perhaps more mindful about not focusing on physical flaws, is the show still able to be as savage? People want us to go way, way further. So there are parts of the show that we've made even more outrageous because the public... It's like the Colosseum. People are there and they just want to see... They want to see blood. While the former Prime Minister might have a starring role in this stage show, ironically for Boris Johnson, between the Partygate scandal and the Covid inquiry, this may well be the least controversial of all the appearances he has to make. Katie Spencer, Sky News.